Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Grey Vault's channel! I am Grey Vault and this is my channel! So I'm really excited about all of this. I, I had this footage for a while. I haven't been able to edit it because I didn't want to edit it on Share Factory again. I wanted to edit it on um, uh, Filmora, which is another uh, editing service I found on the computer. And I got a USB and a new mic. Sadly, I'm not using the new mic right now because that's a big setup and I just wanted to get this quickly because I've had this this for a while and I've been wanting to upload for so long. And so I'm just going to kind of rush through it. The next episode, you should be hearing a lot more clearer of audio. I'll be using the mic mic for the next couple of episodes after this one. But for right now, we're just going to stick with the headset mic at the moment. Uh, bear with me. But hey! We have uh, an exciting episode, this, this, this episode, at least I thought it was exciting. We have our first Herbology and Potions class. We even got to explore a bit of Hogsmeade. Oh, not really a bit, we explored a lot of Hogsmeade in this episode. Um, I had a blast looking around and getting all the chests. You guys are probably going to be driven insane by my loot habits because I have them. Um, but. I enjoyed myself, and I hope that you guys enjoy it as well, and I hope you guys enjoy the way this, this video was edited because this is completely different and new for me. I'm just learning a whole new, a whole new way of editing than that Share Factory just doesn't let me do. And the video is going to go on just a little bit longer than usual, as you can probably see in the, the time frame below. It is longer than just 55 to 60 minutes. I'm really excited about that as well because trying to fit so much content into that short time span has been extremely, extremely difficult. So I'm really excited that I can have some wiggle room with, with how much time I have because trying to cut out so much content just to fit it is, is been driving me crazy, absolutely insane. So yeah, I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoy. And, uh, here we go. Alrighty, so this is where we left off. It's dark out. Um, let's take a look at our quests real quick. Surprised I didn't have one active. It didn't sound like me. It's Dalian Keys, and this was, uh, the Coward's Quest. Okay, so we have Herbology class. Alrighty. And off we go! <sighs> oh man, it feels really good to be back back in this. I've been on a long break, it feels like. Oh, look how pretty! Is that a Sakura tree? I love... I love Sakura trees. They're my favorite. I don't think it is one, but it's definitely gorgeous. Vivelio. I heard that. Aha. Alright. Greenhouse tree. Silhouetted at the center of the Hogwarts sorry, silhouetted at the center of Hogwarts greenhouse. This giant tree has a system of roots so as deep reaching and convoluted as the school's dungeons. Well this tree ain't going nowhere. What the hell is going on over there? Revelia on the doors. Whatever that's whatever noise is doing that to be on the door. Take that if you don't mind. Hold on. I just love this. Can you imagine having a greenhouse like this? I would love beyond anything to have a greenhouse like this. Like, I'm not really into, like, frivolous flowers, like, the ones that are pretty and just, like, just there for decoration and f that's it. I'm, I'm, I like practical flowers. Something that does, does something. A use. 
And what's really funny is that most people who do gardens that get rid of their weeds, like dandelions and red clovers and all the things like that, guess what? Those have a use. Those are extremely practical. I don't know why I hit start. I just hit start. Extremely practical. Amazing, amazing plants. Every time you kill them, you're you're missing out on something epic. Especially the uh, red clover. It could help with so many medicinal issues. So if you want to find out what that is, I suggest you Google it or leave me a comment and I'll tell you what it is. Because I'm a bit of a herbalist myself. I make a lot of teas and tinctures and I'm wanting to, to get into salves and ointments and things like that too, but I need some ingredients I'm still missing. But red clover is epic. It's way better than any of that skin everyone else has been using. If you have eczema, acne, use red clover. It has many, many other uses as well. And this has been Garden Time with Grey Vault. I don't know why I walked down here. It wants me to go back up here and uh, begin. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello! Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do Aww, look forward I'm to growing rose. together. <laughs> How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. <laughs> oh. Quickly, place your mandrake in the new pot and pat down the soil. Ooh, sheesh, shut up. Oh boy. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone! Hmm. Now for our next task, no we'll one be passed planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. I'll talk to you in a second. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Oh, really, sir? You think the so? The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Did you come up with that with all, all on your own? Sometimes... Sometimes people say things that make me upset that I'm part of their same same house as they are. Hmm. I wonder if it's very like not grass. Upsetting. Oh, maybe. Look at you, at least you got something interesting to say. I should have been in Hufflepuff. Yes, Professor? I'm a raven Firstly, well now. done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. 
I nearly went deaf. Oh, that's I, I enjoyed do. it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. I Let's wonder if you stay up late at night with these puns. Staff, this Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Oh, your I part don't... in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Wow, you sound way different the second time I talked to you than the first time. How about the third time? Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Okay. I don't know, she didn't sound as vital as she did the first the time. Potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp. Ten class. minutes. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Yeah, I think she, uh, she thinks of puns before she goes Hello. to bed. Saw you on your way to Hogsby the other day. Out. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Yeah, you're damn right. I don't know where I'm going. I'm totally leading nice the way. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? No. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. Revelia. <laughs> thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I Ooh. nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We, here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. What is, there it is, I saw Rebellion. it. Durgable? Durg Durgigable? Dur. Durgigable? Durgigable? Plums. I'm gonna call them plums. This orange radish like fruit floats upside down as it grows. Some believe it can be. it enhances one's ability to accept the extraordinary. Is that so? Oh. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. Revenue. And the rest. Okay, so hold in L1, use R, go of L1, and tap it. Look Ooh. at that! On anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last <laughs> year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they oh, left her honking you. daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. 
Hmm, I suppose they could come in handy. Sure, but that's just a dummy. Or I was imagining it already. That sounds a little darker than I'm wanting to go with. Uh... I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Revelia. I'll see you back in class. Aw, my cabbage wilted. My cabbages! I mean, I had to at some point. Ugh. Couldn't just let that one go. Hmm. Hmm. Chest. I saw it. I saw it with my eyes. Ah, you! F I hate that! Hmm. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Oh, I missed Mr. Clopton's lesson. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. As am I. Plants offer so much, that's true. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Noted. I do wonder about Professor... Oh, those mandrakes are really uh. relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. I was talking to, to the lady. We must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. Right. Dear Professor Garlic, how very thoughtful of you, and to remember that strawberries are my favorite. They're, all, they're as sweet as can be. It's no wonder Muckles loved them so much. Everything you cultivate seems to be of such high quality, from bitter root to berries. I do hope that my darling niece can learn the skill whilst under your tutelage. Lenora so adores you, as do all of your students, I'm sure. Warmest regards, always. Eleanor Everley. Alright, well I was interested to see what she was going to say, but okay. Alright, I'm just gonna sit here for the next three minutes. Revelia. Alrighty, finally. Got our Ditney. Alright, so. Uh now what do we do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get that chest. Revelia. And there's one down there too. Quick and weld. Oh, that's good. Running low on those. I should really try to. Oh wait, I can't. I don't have a. Hmm. Revelio. I don't have uh potions unlocked yet. I have to go to the. 
what's his face? I keep wanting to call him Snape, but I know that's wrong. It's not Snape. Snape is Snape. But anyway, yeah, I don't know who our potions teacher's name is yet. But we have to talk to him at some point. Rebellion. I do love this greenhouse. Like if I could have that, but a smaller, more compact uh, size, that would be epic. Alright, I'm going to see what I have to do. What's next on our schedule? Potions class! Oh, cool. Perfect. Alrighty, so potions class. Following the dust, dust, following the dust, following the dust, dust, following. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Hmm. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. I heard that. Bavelio. Okay, it's downstairs. Sorry, slight detour. Just because uh, I want to get that chest unlocked in my common room. Can I do this in one shot? <laughs> Damn it. Nope. Apparently not. Back to uh, potions. I got that already. I have to wait for potions class? Really? I have to wait for both classes. How stupid is that? It wasn't that late. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mm, Mr. Good. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Nice. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. That was like a comfy chair. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Oh, okay. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Okay. I don't know if it's possible to fuck it up, but, uh... Nervous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, 
and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. Okay. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Yeah. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganweld potion. Oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from a fellow Ravenclaw. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. Nah, it was nothing. I just put the I hit the X button and spun the analog a little bit. It was nothing. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Okay, then. Kind of... Hmm. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Uh... Why do you want to know? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters oh, you're because Weasley. you can be a part of something truly creative. That's I'm fine. Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure oh, yeah. to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Ajurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Thwooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I can get... You that feather? I'm not sure that's a good idea. Oh man, like, I don't think that's a good idea just because he's a Weasley, but then I want to because he's a Weasley. I love the Weasleys. There must be something in the in the bloodline that just have to get into trouble. So that's why I don't want to do it. I know it's going to be a problem, but it's a Weasley, so I want to do it because... I mean, that's where the fun is, right? I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I oh assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Yeah. Remember. Oh. Huh. I could almost grab everything just by standing there. That was fun. So I got the Fwooper Feather. Wait, I thought he said he had plenty of these. He's only got two. Plus the one I will not count. What? Hang on. Three. Not count. Plus. Shut up. He has three total. Not anymore. Now he has two total. Memorandum. 31st of December, 1875. From Order Office. Subject Borgen and Burks. Organ and Books has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are aiding more auras in joining those that have already been watching this shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Oh. Again, I really hope they go uh, an aura route with the sequel. That's just going to well be nice. Well prepared, Witcher Wizard always has a few potions on hand. Here's the Fwooper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Ajurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. This is going to be not good. My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. 
Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Well, okay. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Alright. <laughs> I can understand and respect that. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. I know I need to make an endurance potion, but I'm making another wig and wild because I'm low. I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping I could do like I could put it together myself. So it would be like an automatic thing. I can make two more. I need more work them. Like it's I guess it's cool, you know, it does its thing, it's it works, I suppose. It just would be more fun to actually like mix it yourself. Alright, last Dittany. Or not oh, Dittany, Horkum. And then we're gonna make the Aduras potion. Potion that enhances the drinker's defense by covering them with a durable rocky skin. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. That'll be cool. Okay, anything else? Uh, Maxima Potion? Oh yeah, I did buy a couple of these recipes whenever I would sell some stuff at J. P Pippin's... Perry Pippin at J. Pippin Potions. Uh, this is increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. Uh, reduces the drinker's spell cooldowns. Ooh, I need Dugbog Tongue for that one. And Felix Felice. Enhances the drinker's chance of success in their endeavors, specifically by revealing the location of large loot chests on the minimap for one in-game day. Ooh, I can make that twice. a whole minute to make oh well I guess that makes sense this was supposed to be like a really difficult difficult potion to make how cool I'm I'm making liquid luck hee <laughs> I got the uh big addition for the game so makes sense I'm excited that's just one of the many reasons why I wanted to get the the deluxe edition for the dark arts the extra side quest in Hogsmeade, and the black hippogriff, the that that stroll mounts, and uh, Felix Felices. So this is gonna be great. I'm so excited. Now that I have two, I can make two. I'm gonna use one and see how that how that works. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom! Two liquid lux. How fucking awesome. I still have to purchase these two things. Disability potion, obviously that makes me visible, and thunder brew. Creates a storm around the drinker which will stun and damage nearby enemies. Ooh, I need to buy that one next. Alrighty, I think that's all I can do. So, we're gonna... We have to brew the Enduris, which we did, and we have to give that to Professor Sharp. Sharp, not Snape. Sharp. And now we add the Mallow Sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. Oh. Dragon Dark. What happened? Wow. <laughs> Gareth. What did you put in that? What now, Mr. Weasley? 
sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Aww. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. Wigan I did it. Potion is not a cure. I brewed an Edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Yep. I'm sorry about that, or I don't know what you mean. I'm I'm owning it. I did I'm it. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. Oh, good. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own to say about assumptions. I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Oh, fair enough. And... I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. And, and... I made liquid luck. Twice. So I'm pretty damn good. Alrighty. Now what do I do? Revenge. <laughs> Yes, there's a ding, but I'm gonna talk to Weasley. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. It was nothing, or you got me the trouble. Yeah, Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long-lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Mr. Ollivander sent me an owl. I really do hate the fact that I can't check my own mail and read it myself. It just automatically, Revelio. you know, talks at me. I I prefer if, if if like if you're gonna have a whole section dedicated to owl post, it just makes sense that you would you know receive an owl and have to read it. Professor Sharp's Aura Badge. Aurors comprise the Ministry's magical law enforcement and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This Aura Badge belongs to Professor Sharp. He must really miss his job. He keeps the letter, keeps the badge. He seemed pretty disgruntled about his injury. I like Professor Sharp, honestly. I think he's a pretty cool dude. Revenia. I have to, oh, what am I doing? I have to go to Hogsmeade. I don't think I have to move anywhere, do I? I shouldn't have to. That's the last time I have a potion. Yeah, okay. Alrighty, so J Pippins, I always go the wrong way. Excuse me, Perry oh, Pippin of J Pippins. In the potions. market for potions, are we? Yes, very much. So I'm missing invisibility and thunder brew. Yeah. Alright, so I don't need this. When did I get that? Okay, I don't need that either. Alright, that's all I'm missing? Fantastic. Thunderbrew. A wise decision! Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> okay. I hope to see you again.
Thank well for you, now. Mr. Pippin of J or Perry Pippin of J Pippin's potions. It's just fun to say. Like you guys should try it. Perry Pippin of J Pippin's potions. And then say that three times fast. There's so many locks. I really want Alohomora. You know what? We may have time to actually explore more of Hogsmeade, depending on how this goes. Revelia. Okay. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you. And your resourcefulness. It's in the he wand. was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult to find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Well, of course. Sounds intriguing. I'm not sure I'm up to the task. How will this benefit me? Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. Aww. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Uh, why don't you continue searching the Owlery? Why that wand? Why did he steal it? Is there anything special about the wand? Oh yes, it's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. Hmm. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts. Always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps mm. he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand-making is. <laughs> Surely you could continue searching the Owlery. Oh, one would think. However, the headmaster does not take kindly to an old wand maker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes, and a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. I got you, Mr. Ollivander. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Oh, you've brought hope to this old wand maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Aren't I? It's all in the wand. Couldn't have obliterated that troll without it. Alrighty, so Mr. Ollivander wants us to go to the Owlery and find the wand. I saw that. Revelia. We did not go to Zonko's last time, did we? We went to uh, Honey Duke's. Zonko's Jokes Shop. Frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike, Zonko's is the place to buy pranks and jokes in Hogsmeade. Can I actually buy pranks and jokes? Or is it like Honey Duke's where I can like play with things and call it a day? What the hell? Kind of reminds me of a. Uh... Oh, what's a. It's a game about the cups and things. I forget what it's called. Oh. Frog spawn soap. An amphibious surprise awaits anyone who tries to wash with this particular bar of soap. 
Once submerged in water, a cohort of wriggling tadpoles hatches right out of the suds. Ew. Well, that's not... That's not too special at all, is it? Oh! Hi! I thought it was a puppet show. Oh! It's different every time! <laughs> oh, that's so fun! Oh shit! What's that? Just threw a bomb at me! <laughs> oh, that's creepy. I don't like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, he threw another bomb! Alright, I'm done playing with that. He's, he's, he's a bomb thrower. That's really cool though, I did like it. But... Oh. Balloons. Oh, the confetti does something. It does like... Shapes and things. Huh. Well, that's fun. Look at that. Huh. Ravenia. Nice. I do like that. I would save so much time. Just a quick gift wrapping spot. Alrighty, let's see what's upstairs. Surprised this place isn't busy. I think it would be. It's Songos. Tempest in a bottle. Hmm. Hogsman Station. Oh, it's a little Niffler! Gillyweed tonic. Gillyweed, isn't that what Harry used in the movies? Uh, I think it was, was it the books too. Shit. I have to think about it. But yeah, didn't We're Harry use Gillyweed in the Triwizard Tournament? Dung bomb. A favorite among pranksters, the dung bomb produces a foul odor causing anyone in the vicinity to evacuate post haste. Yeah, classmate, or not classmate, a Ravenclaw classmate dude of mine did that. I thought he was talking about a clock and he wasn't. Oh. Okay. Bewildering can of mystery. Oh, okay. Oh, it came back. Oh, shit! I want to try another one. Woo! Okay. One more and we'll leave. Oh! Shit! <laughs> That's cool. Revelio. Alrighty. Don't push. They just set you up with that, don't they? <laughs> well, that's fun. I like that you could play with little little things. I have to go push it twice. Oh, have it again. Oh, I see. What those are. Huh, that's fun. Alrighty. I think it's time to go. Bye, Zonkos.
Went to the three broomsticks last time. Allery. Revenia. The thing is locked. That was another issue. Yeah, see all those fucking locks? Look at that. It's insane. Is there something up there? Or is it just me? Aha! Yes, uh, it's how you come back. Aha! Gotcha. Ooh, that's another one. Oh, this is that page I kept talking about. Uh, when Ranrock and that Rookwood dude were talking here. And we were eavesdropping over here. And I was like, hey, there's a page right there. I got it. Told you I'd get it. Is it those honeydukes? Oh. You read it here first. Yeah, I did. Um it was an accident. Basilisk breeder insists. The Cornish wizard arrested for breeding basilisk has insisted profit. Shut up. Has insisted that it was all simply a silly mistake. He was taken in after a routine inspection revealed extra, toad infestations extra. in all five of his chicken coops. Basilisk breeding has long been forbidden by the ministry. However, due to the potency, rarity, the and value of basilisk right venom, here. it is perhaps not surprising to know that he that the less rule abiding amongst us have skirted it. the law, as explained by the by a neighbor of the wizard in custody, a shrouded figure who has chosen to remain anonymous, the way to make a basilisk is by Daddy hatching Robin. a chicken egg beneath a toad. Every wizard, the Cornish wizard, has every wizard. Uh, oh, I can well say. Every wizard with a wand Get knows that profit. the Cornish Cornish wizard has pleaded total ignorance as a defense before the wizen wizen gamut claiming that his chicken extra, coops extra. are simply irresistible to toads and that he had no knowledge of the basilisk breeding process. His defense was met All with a widespread skepticism right by members with the exception of Belinda Brown to the Department of Regulation and Control of Magical Creatures who Daddy said, Robert. I have no doubt that he's that much of a moon mind. We told him we were coming, didn't we? All he had Daddy to do Robert. was move to was move the toads. Oh. Hope you have a magical day. Extra, Wait, extra. Is there a way I could what's this? What's all that? What's all that? I hit a horoscope? Is, this, is that all I got? Okay. Get your daily Apparently so. Well that's cool. Got to read the news. Basilisk breeding. Apparently chicken eggs and toads make a basilisk. Now that is that is definitely something. Oh, what are you doing, sir? I could use some How wonderful. Thank you. Huh. If things keep going as oh they shit! Are, what the hell, man? You think knowing spells would simplify things. Don't freak me out it like that. To work that way for me. I can't imagine how muggles get by without magic. I see it. Oh, town is really pretty at night. It's an owl. That's not. Looks like a store. What was that? Revelia. My controller just shook when I walked past here. Shook again. Ah, that's why. Peekaboo. Oh, I forgot Revelia. to peekaboo that last one. I just remembered. Ah, I forgot to peekaboo. Oh, poor little dude, never got a peekaboo. Oh, I feel bad.
What's up there? Let's go to the windmill. I'm just curious. I know, I know we have uh, Ollivander's quest and I'm, I'm all about helping out Mr. Ollivander, but I just wanna, I never get to explore Hogsmeade. I'm always out of time. I just wanna see what's up with this, uh, not windmill. It's a, it's a mill. Let's see. What is this called? It's a mill. It's a mill of some kind. I forget what the name is, or is that just what it's called? I might be just be stupid. But I can't do stuff. That's sad. Rebellion. Ah, there's a puzzle. And some chests. Chest first. Oh, whoops. I have to do that. Lumos. Okay. That's a pace. Oh, check out that range! Lumos. Is it down here? That looks like it. Aha! Well, that was easy. It's just down... Just down that little path there. How simple. I love this game. I'm sorry, but like, I really love this game. Revenue. I need to play it more. I need to make room and play it more. Oh, you are one of those. Hold on, I know what to do. Peekaboo! Oh look, Ashwinder. We need those. Rebellion. Uh, it's locked, is it? It's always locked. All these days, all these days, it's locked. What's up here? Oh, that's a fun looking place. Kind of reminds me of a uh, Jim Carrey version of a uh, series of unfortunate events that uh, Aunt jo Josephine's house was always on tilt and falling apart and shouldn't be there. Yeah, kind of reminds me of that. Pavelia. I will take that. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Oh. You're a force to be reckoned with, um, scaring all the goblins away. Yeah. <gasps> There's a Niffler on the wall. Oh, little cute. Oh, bless you. He. I love it. I love it. Peekaboo. A wee bairn and a thrashing to a troll. Oh, I can't believe it. I love the Scottish and Irish accents. Like, I can't even tell you. I love the Scottish and Irish accents. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Deathcap. Oh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stalk so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> mind yeah, you I heard don't about knock the, the mandrakes. Oh, if 
there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear up. Little shit, lady. Gosh. Are you saying someone died here? Someone died here? Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. You're goofy, I like it. What do you have for sale? It might just be the accent. Oh, okay, so she has the venomous tentacula, a mandrake, Chinese chopping cabbage, fertilizer, Chinese chopping cabbage seeds, ooh, mandrake You're seeds. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't venomous you? Tentacular Scaring seeds. all the That's goblins thousand... away. 800, 600, ooh. I mean... Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can Are tell you. you'll go far. Hold on. I don't need that. But your things will be safe with me. That. Until they're sold. This. Then you'll have to make do with money. Okay. I would like to keep at least 4,000. That way I have it when I need it. Such a wee bairn and a thrashing to a troll. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> You're... I love your accent. She could say anything and I just end up smiling. Mandrake, Chinese chomping cabbage. Mandrake, Chinese chomping cabbage. Mandrake, Chinese chomping I'll go with the mandrake. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Yeah. Rebellion. Far. Tell. This large tree with winding branches supports the shop dog's weed and death cap. Okay. I always wanted a tree inside a house. Alright, so let me take a look at your uh, picture frame here, lady. Oh, wait, that's not what, uh, what was there. Let me just. Lumos! Okay, so a chimney sticking out of the ground. Chimney sticking out of the ground. I do like the way her her place looks interior wise. Exterior I think it's a little bit odd. Oh. Okay. We got ourselves a chimney. And there's our moth. Come on, little guy. You see my light? You see my light. I know you see it. Lumos. Now you see it. There you go. Hope you're not here for a knotgrass sprig, because I'm not entirely sure I have them in stock. Alrighty. So I just need 15 more pages and we're done with Hogsmeade. Well, that was fun. So I got the two seeds, the venomous tentacula and the mandrake. What's up here? I need to do the Ollivander thing. Revelio. Abandoned shop. The proprietor of this abandoned shop is said to have used a shrinking charm to a aid in storing his inventory. However, a slight miscalculation ended up, for all intents and purposes, vanishing it. Huh. Take that and uh take that. Huh. Revelio. Lumos. Oh, okay. This is gonna be a little difficult. Wait. Revelio. Is that it right there? That's it right there. Okay. Lumos. It's not gonna be difficult. And I see the uh page flying about. <laughs> Come on, little dude. There you go. Mm. 
check this out. We're getting a lot of these done. It's 13. Vivelio. I love this game. I love it here. It's just so much wonderful in one little place. Whoa, hi there. Oh, oh, that was your head. I thought it was a page. Huh. Bet you're a member of the Headless Hunt. Rebellion. This is nuts. <laughs> what the fuck? This is insane. Oh man. Wait, what's this? Can I go in there? I want to go in there. I want to do it. I want to go in there. No? That's not fair. Rebellion. Man, you could just hear like whispers and noises and then how fucking cool is that? Come to a graveyard at night and you just see ghosts throwing heads all over the place. I think that's uh that's uh that's uh one of these. And it works. Peek a boo Revelio. That is so cool. I love that. That's a that's a small little touch. It's gonna do it. I'll just watch it one more time. What are you trying to do, man? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. All right, I'm done. Oh, there's another. There's another. I bet it's in a locked house in it. Pavilion. Nope, it's not. Peekaboo! I still hate that I didn't peekaboo that one. Revelio. Okay. Uh. Looks like another one of those. We're gonna do this. Ta da! Peekaboo! Okay. Revelio. Oh, something's uh, ring and dingin'. There, I saw it. Hog's Head Docks. These docks outside the Hog's Head in offer a pleasant place to sit and relax. If one can do so whilst only a stone's throw away, oh sorry, stone's throw from whatever nefarious goings on may be occurring in the notoriously shady inn. Rebellion. Did I ever go into the Hog's Head? I don't think I did, and I think that's a flying page. Hmm, another one of those. Ah. Pardon me. Just grab that if you don't mind. Mounted Hog's Head. This mounted Hog's Head rolls its eyes and snuffles its nose as it oversees the seedy atmosphere and decidedly interesting clientele of the Hog's Head. Ew, that's gross. It slobbers, too. I mean, I like pigs, and and ham is my favorite meat of all time. But that's just gross. I'm not a fan of that. I don't. Revelio. That guy's drunk off his ass. Ah. Uh. And that's off limits. Alrighty. Well, you guys uh. <gasps> Enjoy. Whoa! Whoa! Why? Can you imagine the last thing you see being the mouth of the hunter? That would suck. Oh. 
peekaboo. Lumos. That is the docks of the Hog's Head. We were just there. I saw you. You're. There you go. Come on. Wait, I'm almost Vanilla. done. So many locked doors, it's insane. I could use some gold. I play a bard in my Dungeons and Dragons campaign, so I really like to tip bards when I see one, but oh I can't. No, don't be stingy. I don't want to be stingy. Your hat is like, no. It doesn't want my money. Revenue. Uh, your your hat's not okay with me. Alrighty. I think we spent <laughs> enough to, uh, was Revenue. Is that a bird? Is that a page? It's Superman. Well, actually, there is one more thing I wanted to do before we leave Hogsmeade. I wanted to check out the conjuring shop, which I think is down here. Yeah, that's the weird cauldron place. It's right here. Yeah, I wanted to check out... It's getting foggy. I wanted to check out uh, what kind of conjurations I may be Come able to get. Before Wait I do anything else, I'm going to go through my inventory, get everything uh, equipped, and then talk to him and sell what I have. Alrighty, all up to date. Here we go. Six thousand. Alrighty, Hattie. So let's see what we got. Chomping station. To get that. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna save. You are an expensive flippin' store, man. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Ah, uh, will do. Oh wow, I've been here all night. Creating an inferior is a long process. I failed a few times. So I think I'm close. Alrighty. Um. Rebellion. Oh, I see you. Hogsmeade. The all-wizarding village in Britain, Hogsmeade has been a favorite haunt of Hogwarts students 30 years and up for centuries. Okay, off to the Allery.